Hello everyone and welcome to your first Game Maker tutorial. Today I'll be showing you some very simple um, steps to making a game without code. So we're going to be introducing sprites, objects, rooms, and how to make your player move and destroy when he touches a wall. So first, um, I've created my sprites already, but you can go ahead and do that if you want. You can go to edit sprite, make a new one, 32 by 32, or whatever um, you would like. And then you can go ahead and center that, make sure it's centered. And then make a wall, and you can make it the same width and height as you want, or make it something different. It all depends on what you want to do, make sure that's centered as well. And then we're going to come up to here and click on object to create a new object. Let's call this obj underscore player. Now for sprite, let's choose our player sprite because it's, after all, is our player. Let's click OK and then create another object. Let's call this obj underscore wall. Select the wall. Okay, there we go. We have just created two objects. Next, we'll create the room. So go ahead and make that. You can call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it room one and um, set the width and height to whatever you would like. But don't make it too big because then it would take up your entire screen. This basically translates to how big the window is. And I'm also going to set my speed to 60 frames per second. You can keep it at 30 if you would like, but it all depends on your opinion. So now let's go to backgrounds and you can choose a color or import a custom background right there. So I'm going to choose a very light, nice blue. Whoa, that's a little flashy. Let's choose that one's better. Okay, now go to your objects tab, select the player, and go ahead and place him somewhere in the room. Another thing you can do is change the snap to 8x8, so it's a more precise placement. I'm going to put him there. Next, what you want to do is go back into your player, click add event, and you can either do keyboard or key press. The difference is, on keyboard, you when you press, say, for example, W, you move forward and don't stop but when you do key press you have to hold in W to move forward I'm gonna do keyboard because it makes the game that much harder and I think it's just a little nice touch and I'm gonna do W then moved fixed drag that in move forward at a speed of five blocks Add another event keyboard letters a Move fixed to the left, five, or you can use the arrow keys. Um, arrow keys are right there, left, right, up, and down, but I prefer WASD. And now D, move fixed to the right at a speed of five. Now add event keyboard, and finally S. Where's S? There it is. Move backwards at a speed of five. Okay, there we go. We fully programmed your player in under three minutes. You're halfway there. The tutorial is almost complete. So let's launch the game. And there you go. Your player is now moving across the screen, gliding this little nice green block. His name is Bob. Or you can make up a story if you want, but that's not entirely necessary. All right, cool. Next, let's add a, another element to the game. So let's go into our wall. And let's make this solid, and let's add an event. A wait, whoops, sorry. Collision with the player. Now go over to your main one tab and drag in instance destroy. Now apply this to the object and change that to the players. So that way, the player's destroyed, not the wall. Otherwise. You, when you're bouncing off of walls, then, you know, the walls would be destroyed. That would be useful for some other types of games, like asteroids or something like that, if you would like to recreate that. I might do a tutorial on that later. And then also, what we want to do is restart the room. So that way, instead of, you know, everything keeps on happening in the room and the game goes on forever, when you die... The game restarts and you're back and you have to complete the puzzle again. Alright, cool. Let's go back into room one. 
Let's um, have Robo's player go to objects, object wall. And if you want, you can meticulously place every single little object, or you can do what I prefer. And you can hold shift and control and just place them. Oh, whoops. Accidentally just turned. Oh, no. Whatever. That block can be not like the other ones. And you can just place them everywhere. I'm going to make this just like, you know, nice little racetrack type of thing. And delete those. You can right click to delete and hold shift and control to delete a ton at once. Very, very, I think I need to give them a little more room. Very, very helpful tool, though, that they use in Game Maker. All right, so now that we have this little racetrack type of thing, click OK. And you can either delete those instances that are outside the room, like, for example, the ones below the player. Or you can say no, it doesn't really make a difference, because you won't see them anyway. So now when we load up, we have to go and make it through, and if we do not, then we will die and respawn. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this very simple tutorial on your first game in Game Maker with no code. If you did, please leave a like, and I will get more videos out in the near future. And thanks for watching, hopefully you had a good day, and I'll see you later.